So today I'm coming from Luke 15, 11. This is about the prodigal son. So there's a man and he has two sons. One son, he's with the father. He's doing everything that he's supposed to be doing, you know, taking care of all the business that the father is telling him to do. Then they have the younger son. He um, asks the father for his inheritance. And then after he gets his inheritance, he moves to a faraway land and he starts going wild. He's spending all the money. He's partying, having a good time. And then it talks about he becomes a citizen of this faraway land so he can get a job because at this point, like, he don't, he don't really have anything. He spent up all his money. And so he becomes a citizen. And he starts working, and, and his job is to feed the swine um, these little pods. They're like brown, leafy pods, and they have seeds in them. It's like fruit, it's supposed to be sweet. Disgusting. But and in verse 17, it talks about how he came to himself, thinking, as many servants as his father has, they should at least have some spare leftover bread for him, because this is not cutting it, like he's tired. The end of 17 goes on to say, and then I perish with hunger. When we look at the word perish, what does that make you think of? Perishing in hell, hunger. When you're hungering for Christ and you cannot get Christ because you're damned to hell. When you're already in hell, you're going to hunger for him because that presence will be taken from you. But he goes on to say that he is perishing with hunger. And to perish means to suffer death violently or in an untimely manner and in hebrew it means die perish expire or decease or to go west <laughs> Yo. the next verse goes on to say that he's going to go to the father and say i have sinned against heaven and i have sinned against you because you know he has come to the end of himself and later on it talks about the father seeing his son coming back and he throws him a party. He gives him the fattened calves. He he dresses him nicely in royalty like, okay, welcome home, son. Like, this is it. The father was so happy to see his son come back. And then the older brother, he gets upset and he's like, the father never did these things for me. You know, he's talking to one of the servants and the father tells him, look, you're always with me and what's mine is yours. So I just think that this is a beautiful representation of how Christ loves us, even the prodigal sons and daughters, the ones who have not come home yet. But if you look at verse 17, it says that he came to himself and realized that he is perishing with hunger perishing so when you are out there in the world and you come to that conclusion that realization like i'm not getting nowhere in life i am nothing in life i still feel empty i have nothing i desire nothing i don't know even who i am and you come to god with that same desperateness within your heart to know like lord will you accept me will you forgive me for sinning against against you in heaven will you forgive me of the things that i have done and all the sin that i have accumulated over the past years if you come to jesus with that same desperate heart that the prodigal son had he will forgive you and and in fact he will welcome you with open arms he will dress you in beauty and in glory he will give you blessings throughout your entire life to let you know i love you i've always been there for you and i've been waiting I've been waiting for you to come back home, sons and daughters. This is what the Lord is saying. This is a year of the prodigal son. If you have come to your wit's end, if you are tired of all these dead ends and you're not getting anywhere in life and you still feel empty no matter how much money you make, no matter how many drinks you have, no matter how many drugs you take, no matter how many dead end relationships you are in, and you have come to the end of yourself, you come to the conclusion that I am out here dying. I am out here perishing without you, Jesus have that same repentant heart and go to the father and I guarantee you he will answer you and he will forgive you of your sin because he has been waiting for you to come home okay he has been waiting for you all it takes is that desperate heart and to get on your knees in repentance and confess your sins to him and he will welcome you you are not condemned the devil is trying to lie to you to make you feel that
like you are nothing, like you are stuck in your sin, like the father doesn't want you, like you're just lost, you're done away with, and that you can't get out of this rut that you are, have been in. But the Lord is saying to come home, prodigal sons and daughters, come home, come to the Lord Jesus and let him renew you. Let him set you free from all the pain and heartache that you have been going through. Let him give you the keys. Let him restore you. Let him bring you to life because you are dead when you are in your sin. Come home is what the Lord is saying.